In this video I want to show you some new features for the Bricks widget creator. First of all, we would like to introduce the new template system. With this we want to make it easier for low skill developers to use the creator. The templates are something like starter projects with ready made code and dynamic controls that you can modify according to your needs. We will see it in action later. We have also added some new controls, saving with a shortcut is now possible and a few other adjustments have been made which you can find in the changelog. Let's start with the templates. You now have access to different pre-made projects that you can use for your own elements. You can see a live preview and more information for each template. Of course, there are not many at the moment but we will add more in the future. As you can see, there are more complex designs, but also basic things like forms or buttons. You also have the possibility to share your elements as templates with the community. You are a legend when you do this. Let's try out a few templates together. We would like to start with the hero hover slider. I import the template and yeah, it gets added to your elements. We have already included different dynamic controls for all templates. You will also find comments in the code area to help you to understand the code better. Let's save the element and try it out in the builder. We have added a new element and we see the dynamic controls. We want to add data now. Let's start with an image for the repeater field. Great. Now let's add some more repeater fields and see the slider in action. Looks good. In this template we also offer the possibility to activate or deactivate the special mouse cursor or to invert the colors. This first example shows how easy it is to create beautiful elements with our templates. Let's try another one. Maybe a login form to show a more simple example. Here it is. The user can add some custom translations. He can set the box width of the form. He can define a primary color. and decide if he want to show the remember checkbox or not. All done. Perfect. These all are possibilities that are already integrated in the template. What do you think of the new template area? Feel free to let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about another new feature. You will now find a variable ID in the logic field. This variable generates a unique ID for each instance of your element. Let's output the ID in the builder. As you can see we have an unique ID here. When I add another instance, the new instance will get another ID. This gives you a lot of possibilities. For example we could add style sheets for this dynamic ID. You can see that the style sheet gets added. When we now create a control to give the user the possibility to add custom colors, we cannot pass CSS to a static class, because all same elements of this page will get the new color assignment. But assigning the CSS to the class with the unique ID, each instance will get his own settings. And this is what we want and this is what we see in the console. There. We see each element 
hast du Correct CSS Assignments. Again, to show the difference, when using the static class to add some CSS code, we will have two same colors. But using the dynamic class, each instance will have its own settings. Amazing. I hope you guys do like this video and if you have some questions about the Bricks widget creator, feel always free to ask me. By the way, we have a new Facebook group. If you want, become a part of it to get to know each other, exchange ideas and make the community stronger. See you there.